Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Sonic Love. So in today's video, we're gonna be setting up the Steam Deck. As you know, I already upgraded from a 64 gig standard Steam Deck. I did a video showcasing how to install up to 512 gigabyte internal storage. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave it at the end of the video if you wish to check that out. I have numerous different Steam Deck videos, but in this one today, we're gonna to concentrate how to set up emulation on your Steam Deck through EMU Deck. I'll show you step-by-step -step process on how to set it up. Without further ado, let's set up EMU Deck on the Steam Deck. So tools you may need to set it up. I've got the fan going guys because it's ridiculously hot today. I hope it's not blowing too much and causing a distortion with the sound. But you will need a USB to USB type C and also some type of storage device, whether it be um, hard drive or a PC. Just so you have your games on there, you'll need a SD card. Here I have my one terabyte card that I use for my AAA games, but I've just put a 512 gig SD card into the Steam Deck. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to grab the Steam Deck. We need to hit the button on the bottom left to settings. We need to go to system. We need to scroll all the way down to format SD card. So we format the SD card, confirm it, wait till it formats. So once your SD card is formatted, we need to head over to desktop mode. So we need to press the button. We can either go down to power, go to power, head all the way down to switch to desktop mode, or you can hold the power button and it'll give you the option to do it also. We need to head over to Firefox, so wait till it all loads up properly. Or Google, if you have it installed already. We need to type in EMU deck by holding the bottom left button and X. We need to type in EMU deck. to emudeck.com accept all cookies and then we need to scroll down we need to get to where it says download your installer and download the app I choose Dolphin, so choose the file Dolphin. What we need to do is execute. Continue. And let it run its course. You'll be prompted and then just hit OK. You have easy mode or exp expert mode. I go with easy mode. You'll be prompted whether it will be internal or SD card because we've flashed the SD card and formatted it. I'm going to go with SD card to keep everything separate from our AAA games. It's okay. This process does take a while, so please be patient with it until it's finished. You will be prompted that Yuzu is not configured. Uh, and you may have to copy keys and firmware. That's something I can't tell you where to get it from, but a Google search will help you in getting that set up. I will leave a link in the at the end of the video uh, where you can see emulation performance on Yuzu with Switch games. And also maybe a little bit on the end of this video. Click OK. You'll be prompted that it's done. And then we simply 
click exit. We can then close the windows and you'll see update EMU deck, you'll see update deck tools updater, you'll see EMU deck compressions, steam ROM manager and the usual steam and return to game mode. We need to open up the window and then we need to go to primary and you'll see emulation, lost and found, steam apps. So if we click into emulation, you'll have BIOS, HD packs, ROMs, saves, storage, and tools. What we want to do is we want to put all our BIOS files into BIOS. Here is where it says Yuzu. You will have to put your keys and firmware. Any HD packs you'll have to put in there as well where it says HD packs. If we go back, we have ROMs. When we go into ROMs, you'll see a list of all, all available game files for you to put in your ROM sets. And I do believe when you get to Wii U, When you click on the folder, you don't just put your games in here. You'll have a folder saying ROMs. And then you put the ROMs inside this folder. So like a folder within a folder. I'm going to put some ROMs in the allocated folders and then come back and show you what to do next. So once you've installed all your ROMs and BIOS files, you need to go to Steam ROM Manager, open it, and you'll be greeted with a screen like this. You'll have a list of all your emulators on the side, and you click Generate App List. If I go ahead and show on the previous one here, you'll see that that's what I did. Let me scroll all the way down, all the way up. A lot of the games that I have don't have any thumbnails on there, which I'll have to add separately. But I have put over 28,000 games on there, so it does take a while also to load them up. As you see, I think there's still 21,263 to go. But that's what you'll do up to the top it creates all the thumbnails for you and then you simply go once it's finished you simply go to save app list that will transfer them all and also make sure before you do this guys is close steam itself on here otherwise it messes up the configuration and that's not what you want to do so make sure you close steam and then go into steam run manager generate app list and you're good to go. Once it's finished, then save app list. So once you come out of desktop mode and you go into game mode, you'll see at the top, it will have collections. In the collections, it will then give you a list of everything that you have. And once you click in them, it then, I cut the box art uh, short guys just so I could do the video but this is what it will look like once you have all your box art all available for there as you can see as you scroll down that's what it will look like it will take a while for me to set it all back up again I will do a video once it's complete because I will have a lot of emulation the one terabyte SD card for the AAA games it held 42 games 10 are installed on internal. A total of 42 games in total that I have with a one terabyte SD card, including some really huge files. 
so you can hold quite a lot and obviously with the Steam Deck you can basically uninstall and reinstall a new game and then if you finish with that one you can then reinstall a previous game it's all done through cloud so it's not too bad really if we scroll over to the end you will see it will have non-steam games and this will be every single game that you have on there with every single system so once you've done that guys you have successfully completed emu deck and set up on the steam deck there is a few things that i will go over like how to where to add your product keys and also how to set up wii u uh, there's hardly any videos on how you can set it up and it is a pain in the backside because there is no linux side of wii uh, semu emulator at the moment which is a bit sad but hopefully down the line one will show its ugly face and it will make things a lot easier but i will show in a, def a different video guys on how to do that but yeah let's quickly go into the game and see how it all works let's check out tekken 5 for playstation 2 go easy on me round one fight So I've done lots of games and showcase long play videos of emulation. The only one that I haven't done yet is Wii U, but I will be doing a Wii U video at some point today, guys. So I will be doing a dedicated long play video for Wii U. So I'm just going to go through as many games as possible just to showcase what is capable on here. But I have done individual breakdown videos as well, guys. Check them out on the channel. A like would be absolutely incredible and also a share it really does help the channel grow and reach a wider audience and i can't appreciate you enough for those that actually hit the like button thank you very much guys
try out some switch emulation. And as you can see, there is hardly any jaggies whatsoever when you play Switch on Yuzu on the Steam Deck, which is really nice. You can upscale it in the options. notably sharper. So I'm going to leave it there guys, there is lots of videos that I've done showcasing individual emulation performance long play videos, so please check them out. As I say, the next one to drop will be the Wii U, and also a video on setting up C C CMU, Wii U emulation, and also how to set up EMU deck to make it look absolutely amazing. But I'm sure, I hope this video helped. And I hope that it really, really does help you enjoy emulation on your new Steam Deck. A like would be amazing, guys. A share would be even better. If you want to see more on Steam Deck and other retro handhelds, then please consider joining the Sonic Love emulation family. And as always, guys, take care.